Imagine a fighter so advanced that it redefines air superiority. Commanding fleets of drones, adapting blades of stealth in real time, and striking deep into contested airspace without warning. That's the promise of Boeing's F-47 NGAD, the United States' next leap in aerial warfare. In this video, we'll dive deep into everything you need to know, how the F-47 came to be, what makes it special, the challenges it faces, and what role it might play in future conflicts. Number 1. Why a Next Generation Fighter? A Changing Air Combat Landscape Over the last few decades, aerial warfare has evolved rapidly. The U.S. led with fifth-generation fighters like the F-22 and F-35, combining stealth, sensor fusion, and data networks. But as potential adversaries, especially China and Russia, push ahead with new air defenses, electronic warfare systems, and even hypersonics, the balance is shifting. Nation states are investing in Integrated Air Defense Systems, or IADS, anti-satellite capabilities, advanced radar networks, and drone swarms. To penetrate contested airspace now means more than just flying low or being stealthy. It means being a part of a dynamic system that can respond, adapt, and fight across multiple domains. The U.S. Air Force decided if it wants to maintain dominance, it must anticipate that future wars will be fought in highly contested environments. That leads to the need for a sixth-generation fighter, one that is less a standalone aircraft and more the centerpiece of a family of systems. The NGAD Next Generation Air Dominance Program is that vision, and the winner, at least so far, is Boeing's F-47. Number 2. The Birth of the F-47 The NGAD Competition The NGAD program, long in gestation, was for years shrouded in secrecy. Multiple companies, Lockheed, Boeing, others, developed demonstrators and competed behind closed doors. The Pentagon strategy was to allow divergent designs, trade space for stealth, agility, range, and the ability to operate in contested zones. In March 2025, the U.S. Air Force officially awarded Boeing the contract for its NGAD fighter, designated the F-47. President Donald Trump even joined the public announcement calling the F-47 a leap ahead in stealth, speed, and payload. Though internal debates and budget reviews temporarily paused the selection, eventually the Air Force reaffirmed the necessity of NGAD to maintain superiority. The contract is reported to be in the ballpark of $20 billion or more for initial development phases. Why F-47? The name F-47 carries some symbolic weight. Some observers note that Trump, as the 47th president, pressed for the name and it reflects a political branding component. But more importantly, the designation signals it is a generational leap beyond the F-22, F-35 family. Number 3. Technical and Conceptual Vision Core Philosophy, Family of Systems One of the key paradigms for the F-47 is that it will not operate alone. It's meant to be a command node, a mothership in the sky, that can orchestrate autonomous collaborative combat aircraft, or CCAs, drones that accompany, scout, extend sensor reach, or execute strikes. Engines Propulsion and Challenges one of the biggest technical hurdles is the next-generation engine. The Air Force's Next Generation Adaptive Propulsion, or NGAP, program aims to deliver engines with variable cycles, high efficiency, and better performance over broad regimes. However, there are concerns that the NGAP engine might not be available in time. Some analysts believe the initial F-47s may use more conventional or upgraded engines before the full NGAP version is fielded. Delays in engine development could cascade into delays for the aircraft's flight testing and initial deployment. Sensor Fusion, EW, and AI While concrete details are classified, the public narrative emphasizes advanced sensor fusion, offboard sensors like drones or satellites, 
electronic warfare or cyber resilience, the ability to jam, spoof, blind adversary sensors, survive contested networks. AI autonomy, autonomous supporting drones, decision support, dynamic threat response. The F-47 will likely act as an AI augmented node, coordinating semi-autonomous systems. Number 4. Current Development Status and Timeline – Where Things Stand As of Late 2025 Boeing has reportedly begun building the first F-47 articles, or prototype units, just months after the contract award. The Air Force expects first flight in 2028 and aims for early operational capability in the late 2020s or early 2030s. The procurement plan is to buy at least 185 of these jets, the programs being positioned as the centerpiece of the NGAD family of systems, not just a plane, but the control node in a system combining drones, sensors, networks, and weapons. Threats, Delays, and Budget Risks A labor strike involving over 3,200 Boeing machinists in St. Louis has raised concerns about delays. Some reports suggest the strike may not delay the F-47 timeline, but it remains a risk. Budget Conflicts The Navy's parallel sixth-generation fighter program, the FAXX, is competing for funding. Some in the White House warn that pushing both programs could stretch the industrial base. Engine development delays for NGAP could slow down full performance deliveries. Political oversight or shifting defense priorities always loom. Programs of this scale are vulnerable to cost overruns, schedule slippage, or direction changes. One recent article calls Boeing's win for the F-47 existential for the company, meaning that success or failure could define Boeing's future in defense. Number 5. Strategic Implications and Role in Future Warfare If successfully fielded, the F-47 could reshape how the U.S. projects air power. Deep research into contested zones with long range and stealth, it could penetrate more heavily defended airspace than prior fighters. Flexible basing, agile employment, because it's a node in a networked system, it might require less traditional infrastructure, enabling operations from dispersed and austere locations. Force multiplication The ability to leverage drones and offboard systems means fewer manned jets might be needed to protect area dominance. Adaptability Modular systems upgrade over time which helps keep the aircraft relevant despite rapid technological change. Regional and geopolitical effects Asia Pacific and China, deployment of F-47s to Pacific bases. For example, Guam, Okinawa, Australia would be seen as a sharp escalation in capability. Some speculate the F-47 could even carry nuclear payloads, unlike the F-22, which is conventionally armed. Deterrence and escalation Adversaries must now factor in a far more capable U.S. platform that can strike with little warning, increasing deterrence but also heightening tension. Arms Race Dynamics With the U.S. pushing sixth-generation tech, adversaries will feel pressure to accelerate their own programs. Some analysts criticize that ordering only roughly 185 jets may not be enough. Future conflicts might demand hundreds of such aircraft. The F-35, a fifth-generation workhorse, continues to be improved. Lockheed has also proposed a 5-plus F-35 with some sixth-generation upgrades. The F-22, though aging, still remains operational. The F-47 will need to significantly outperform it to justify replacement costs and transition. If parts of the F-47's vision, stealth, AI, engines, lag, it might be more capable in name than in practice. The F-47 NGAT is not just a fighter, it's a bet on the future of air combat. It's an attempt to leap ahead in an era where control of the electromagnetic spectrum, smart autonomy, and integrated systems will matter as much as turning radius or top speed. Its success or failure will reverberate across geopolitics, aerospace industry, and defense planning for decades. If Boeing, the United States Air Force, and their partners can deliver, the F-47 may become the iconic warplane of tomorrow, one built not to fight alone, 
but to command the skies from within a larger, intelligent system. But it's far from guaranteed. Technological risks, budget pressures, industrial strain, and adversaries' responses all loom large. For viewers, what do you think? Will the F-47 succeed in redefining air dominance? Will 185 aircraft be enough? How might adversaries counter such a system? Drop your thoughts below.